Lake Michigan, a mysterious and enormous lake. Long rumored to possess crash UFOs or possibly a secret base hidden somewhere beneath the waves. However, it is not only the extraterrestrial activity which this lake is now famous for. The use of remote sensing technology is thankfully becoming more common within modern archaeology. Scientists now routinely survey lakes for hidden structures, and Lake Michigan is no exception. At a depth of 40 feet in Grand Traverse Bay, using sonar techniques, archaeologists discovered sunken boats, cars, and even a Civil War-era pier. But among all this, they found a spectacular prehistoric ruin. When you see it in the water, you're tempted to say this can't be real, said Mark Holly, professor of underwater archaeology at Northwestern Michigan University College, who made the discovery. Clearly some form of Stonehenge. If this site could be confirmed as having been man-made, it would give credence to a theory of people building complex ancient structures within Lake Michigan, back when it was just a dry basin well over 10,000 years ago. Thankfully, during the investigation, a large rock was spotted with what many at the time suspected was an ancient illustration of a mastodon. During a conference in 2007, photos of the boulder from further investigations were displayed, these clearly showing this prehistoric drawing. However, Mark stated that experts were yet to come in and verify it beyond doubt. We couldn't believe what we were looking at, said Greg McMaster, president of the Underwater Preserve Council. Specialists, shown pictures of the boulder holding the mastodon markings, have asked for more evidence. They actually want to see it. Unfortunately, he added, experts in petroglyphs generally don't dive, so we're running into a little bit of a stumbling block there. If found to be true, the petroglyph would be well over 10,000 years old, confirming early post-Ice Age presence of both humans and mastodons in the upper Midwest. If authenticated, it would become an out-of-place artifact, like many other stone circles and other petroglyph sites, this one dated due to the age of the lake. Just who could have built the Michigan Stonehenge? How did they build it? As further investigation is undertaken, we will of course keep you posted on any future developments.